Dave, we asked you before game seven, so I'll ask you after game seven, how well did you sleep last night and how was the celebration with your team? Um, I, uh, you know, I, I slept great. I slept great. Um, I enjoyed the moment last night. Um, the celebration with the team was great. Um, family in the bubble at the ballpark. Uh, there were some guys that did some things, I think certainly more muted than we're used to uh, once they got here, um, but really good. And I guess it's just also understanding that you have one day off and you got to get back in the World Series starts. So, but it was fantastic. And you guys got right back on it. Justin Turner said both of the buses were filled today for a, a workout that wasn't even mandatory. What message does that send to you? Yeah, I mean, it's no surprise. Um, understanding that these guys know that there's still a lot of work to be done and how do you maintenance your body and keep your, your arm in shape and, and uh, do whatever it takes to, you know, get across the finish line. So, you know, with our guys, it's not, nothing needs to be mandatory. They know what's expected of them. What makes Clayton Kershaw the number one starter in terms of why is that making the most sense for you? Well, I, I think that just kind of obviously the timing of things and how we've used our our our, uh, our starters, but also who he is and what he's done. So it's obviously the, the biggest of no brainers. And to have him start game one, something he's done before, uh, just makes us feel that much better about it. Thank you. Next question is from J.B. Hornster. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Um, Cody was on earlier. Are you assuming that he's good to go with the shoulder here at full bore? Yeah, you know, um, I, 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 as I understand it, I think he's still a little bit sore. It's a loose shoulder. Um, you know, how we handle it going forward is another question. But I think as far as right now, um, we're going to kind of tape it up. Get, I know there's some braces that they ordered, and, and I expect to be in there tomorrow night. Cool. What can you tell us about the pitching plans for, well, beyond game one? Yeah, I, I think beyond game one, I think that it's, it's easy to see Walker start in game three, um, you know, and then outside of that, it'll be kind of hard to figure out. We're, we got to still think through game two and how that kind of unfolds and, and that should kind of bleed into game four as well. Next question from Jorge Castillo, go ahead. Walker, when you, um, Walker, Dave, when you say that Cody will be in there, is that as a center fielder? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the thing that, um, you know, after it came out, uh, defense wasn't the problem. It was more potentially the swinging of the bat. So um, I'm assuming right now that he can swing the bat. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming that unless I hear otherwise. And if that's the case, then uh, we'll go in a different direction. And then with game two, um, just with the off days, does this allow you to maybe continue sort of be maybe a little conventional with your pitching? Um, well, I mean, I, I don't know what conventional is considering who, um, who's rested and, and how we can, you know, leading up to game two. Um, you know, we have guys that are starters, but you still have to have guys that are rested and in, in, in the right spots for game two with the days off. Next question is from Ken Gurnick. Go ahead. Dave, with the success that Julio had uh, as a reliever and the flexibility he gives you, would you rather keep him in that type of role? Um, I, I think just having um, game two, you know, there's some, there's a lot of options, obviously coming um, off of game seven, there's some other guys that threw, but having some options to kind of cover that game because we don't have somebody that's full rested that can give you 90 to hundred pitches for game two. So you got to kind of be creative, um, but having Julio been have done both roles and, and thrived uh, certainly makes us feel a little bit better. Yeah. Thanks. Good, Claudia. Dave, congratulations, first of all. Thank um, you. You have watched Julio from the time he came up. He has grown into a big moment pitcher. Did you always see this in Julio? Yeah, uh, we always did, uh, Claudia. He was always young for his age, always um, uh, young for his level. Um, you know, even as a young player, a young kid in Mexico played with adults and uh, just very confident. Um, doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. And um, so this moment, you know, and he's had a lot of other big moments, but what he did last night for us was probably the biggest and it's no surprise. Next question is from Tim Brown, go ahead. Hey Dave, when, uh, when this is finished and you walk out of the bubble and 
re-enter civilian life, what is the thing you're most looking forward to doing? I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I think first of all, I mean, considering that we are being in this bubble for, you know, over a month, month and a half, um, being at home um, mm -hmm. and then also sort of, I guess, I, I don't know, I haven't been in the outside world in quite some time, so I don't think I can still go and where I please, but I'm looking forward to just being at home with my three dogs and, and my wife and just being at home um, and hopefully go to a restaurant. I don't know if we can go to movies still. I, I don't know, Tim. The outside world's scary, man. You should stay where you are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Go ahead, Pete. Go ahead, Pete. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Dave, as good as the Braves pitching was, the Rays pitching looks even better. What challenges do they present? Yeah, they're, they're, um, I, I think if you look at it, an entire staff, there might not be a team in baseball that prevents runs better than those guys. I, I think collectively, I think, you know, you can look at numbers on the surface, but as far as the way they can match up and um, really get advantage advantages, they're all about run prevention. And so, and their defense is exceptional. So it's going to be a, it, it's going to be a, a, a challenge for us to, um, to just continue to take the at-bats that we've been taking and take what they give us and, uh, grind because uh, there's going to be they can really pitch and play defense um, it's a really good club bill um, so I think that the run prevention side really good and it's it's really it's just a talented team so it's going to be it's the best team that was in the American League all year versus a team that was the best in the National League so it's it's uh, fitting you get uh, two off days during the series this time how is that going to change the the challenges of pitching management yeah, I, I think that once we get in, I think we'll know more. Um, but you're still with the off day today, uh, coming into going into game one and game two, which are consecutive. We're still kind of, you know, we've been taxed as far as usage in the pen. So, um, you know, for Clayton to take a start and, and to go deep would, would certainly uh, help kind of the usage get kind of realigned. Hey, have you talked to David Price and which team is he rooting for? <laughs> um, you know, I, I've been texting with David off and on uh, this entire year and throughout the postseason. Uh, so um, he better be, uh, we're paying his checks or, or most of his checks. So, um, and uh, I saw him in, in summer or in spring training. So I, I hope he's uh, rooting for us. Next question is from Dave Wallstein. Go ahead. Dave, would you um, talk to the guys at all about celebrations, about being careful, or maybe even implement new rules? And, and also, just another thing completely different thing I'm sure you've been asked about before, but what are you writing when you're book in the dugout? What am I what? What are you writing? What kind of things are you writing in your the little book in the dugout? Oh, so this is just, I, I basically, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a lineup card that uh, it has a lot of different numbers and matchups. And um, so I kind of keep track of the game and uh, potential things that might kind of ensue so I can stay ahead of it. Um, it's the stuff that I kind of is pertinent to me to, to get through a game. Um, as far as what I'm going to tell the guys, as far as celebration, uh, I'm not thinking about celebrating right now. Um, once we get to that point, I might kind of entertain it. But right now, I'm worried about game one. Um, last question is from Harry Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, do you anticipate any roster, significant roster changes, whether, you know, uh, position player adding a pitcher? Yeah, you know, um, that's that's fair. Um, we're, we're talking through it right now. Um, you know, I, 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 there's some, there's some, you know, whether it's 15 position player or 15 pitchers or do we go 14? Um, so that's kind of the talk. Um, we haven't finalized it yet, but you know, staying status quo probably is, is what I foresee. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, guys.